Today we're going to be talking about malware on Seagate NASes, MySQL exploits, and ransomware, ransomware, ransomware. Stay tuned. This is a Security Weekly production. Brought to you by IT Pro TV, an easy, entertaining approach to online IT training. IT Pro TV offers 1,000 hours of up to date, high quality video training content. Course topics include certified cloud security professional, ethical hacking, cryptography, and VMware. You can stream their courses live or on demand to your mobile device, all for one low monthly subscription price and cancel at any time. Visit itpro.tv forward slash hack naked to upgrade your brain with the most popular IT certifications. Use the code HN30 for a free seven day trial and get 30% off for life. Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in penetration testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked News. I'm your host, Aaron Lyons. We're recording on September 15, 2016, and have I got some good stories for you today. So, Sophos has identified that there's a new malware out there, dubbed Malminer-C, also known as Photominer, that's infecting Seagate Central network-attached storage devices that are internet-connected. Now, these devices are very easy to infect because Seagate doesn't allow users to delete or deactivate certain shared folders. So the malware uses, is using these infected devices as a jumping point to infect connected computers, and it's also installing software to mine cryptocurrency, specifically Monero, which I have never heard of before. So currently, there's an over 5,000 infected devices out there, about 77% of the connected devices on the internet. And the amount of mining power that these NAS count for is approximately 2.5% of the total mining activity for Monero. So far, it looks like the criminals have netted more than $86,000 from their mining operations alone. If you have a Seagate NAS, take it off the internet or make sure it's not internet facing at a minimum. Moving on, our next story, MySQL. That's right, there's exploit code out there for MySQL and the two forks, MariaDB and PerconaDB. Now this exploit code allows remote code execution and privilege escalation. It's in the wild, proof of concept code is out there on exploit DB. Now the affected versions are everything less than 5.7.15, 5.6.33, and 5.5.52. Now the vulnerability can be exploited if the attacker has authenticated, an authenticated connection to MySQL or through a SQL injection attack. MariaDB and PerconaDB both released patches prior to the disclosure, but Oracle didn't release patches for MySQL until September 6th. Our last story this episode this week, ransomware, more ransomware, and more ransomware. What would Hack Naked be without ransomware? Oh, where to start? Locky no longer needs to communicate with its command and control servers. It's using an embedded RSA key now. There are decryptors available now for the Kawaii Locker and Philadelphia ransomware variants. The Noob Crypt ransomware lives up to its name using the same decryption key for all of the victims. The key has been posted by security researcher Jacob Krosktek. Also, the biggest news in ransomware this week, there's a new version of RRRAA ransomware out there. It's been spotted by Kapersky. 
So RAA was first spotted in June of this year. Now the new version is specifically targeting businesses, probably hoping for a larger payout. But the new version also generates its own key, much like Lockheed's doing now, eliminating the need to command, communicate with command and control servers, allowing for offline infection and encryption. And if all of that wasn't enough, RAA is also now installing the Pony Trojan. Now, Pony Trojan is a credential stealing malware. So that's right. In de encrypts all of your data, steals your credentials, which they can either sell or use to further uh, exploit your network. Again, I can go into my usual rants about ransomware. The only true protection is good frequent backups with versioning. If you're not doing backups, if you're not doing frequent backups, if you're not using versioning, you're gonna get owned by ransomware. And if you're not testing your back, backups, you have no idea if they're even effective. So you gotta test them also. Now, as far as credential stealing, two-factor is your friend. Well, that's it for this episode of Hack Naked News. As always, thanks for listening and keep on hacking naked.